You're still watching Ways. Now, World Food Day is observed every year on the 16th of October, 20, um, this year, um, 16th of October. Now, in remembrance of the, um, the day, um, when food and agricultural, agricultural organizations of the United Nations was founded in 1945. Yeah, that's, that's what it was created for. The primary focus is to tackle global hunger and strive to eradicate hunger across the world. In light of the current pandemic this year, the day will be celebrated with the theme, Grow, Nourish, Sustain, Together. Our actions are our future. It's very apt to. It's very in fact, apt. It's, it's even in line with this protest. Our action, <laughs> our future. <laughs> yeah, but, but um, food is a serious, access to food is also a serious issue here. And it's, it all goes down to a long talk. So today we're not talking about food, but it's really, really serious. Not just access to food, but even the food getting to the people that it should get to in a state that people can consume. Mm. Because we have this complaint where farmers go that before they could even get their food to consumers, more than 50% of it yeah. is wasted. Then even, I'm, not, I'm also happy about the reawakening of a lot of people going into agriculture. You know, a lot of people are going back to the farmland. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's very important that it's our future. So we have to actually grow. If, if we you know, are, if you're, you're totally right. If we are to stop depending heavily on um, imports, then we have to learn how to grow our food, but also using the right technology, the right tools, and doing it the right way. Absolutely. Okay, Uti Elu, since you are on Zoom, tell us what you found in the news. Okay, so, I mean, these are interesting times, right? So my story is a story that broke yesterday, which is fantastic, fantastic news for Nigeria. And the headline says, Stripe buys Nigerian e-payment startup Paystack. Mm -hmm. So for a whopping $200 plus million, U.S. technology and um, payment giant Stripe, <clears throat> excuse me, has bought Paystack for just over $200 million. Um, this is an amazing, amazing story. Amazing. I mean, it couldn't have come at a better time. Like, I feel like God just orchestrated this timeliness with what is going on in Nigeria. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, I've always wondered why we don't have unicorns in Nigeria. Mm. What we are able to produce as in all the adversity and in as unenabling as in our environment is, um, for me, it's always just baffled me that why don't we have a unicorn in Nigeria? Unicorn is a, a business valued at, at at least a billion dollars. Why don't we have a unicorn? So the fact that the guys of Paystack, um, Shola and Ezra have pulled this off is amazing. Entrepreneurs exist to solve problems. Mm -hmm. They solve problems and they get rich doing it. And this is what these two young men have done. I hope that they will be able to, or that this first one is, as they say, is always the hardest. I hope that this will open the door to so many more companies in Nigeria. We've always talked about the issues that companies face with investment. Mm -hmm. Now I hope that this shows that Nigeria is viable um, and that we can really, really, you know, one day have our own unicorn and, and hopefully one day soon. Absolutely. Uti, sorry, one second. So Uti, when we saw that picture, you know the first thing that came to my mind? That they were typical SaaS candidates. So you see their dreads. Exactly. And you see that they are IT. Exactly. You get? Absolutely. And they would have laptops. That. That's why I said that I feel stars. like this story couldn't have broke at a more <laughs> exactly. auspicious. Like this yeah. was the time this story needed that. to come in. It's almost like someone giving fuel, like injecting food into like mm -hmm. a hungry person. And so it just, just yeah. came at the... At the right time, it just reiterates the fact that you know you do not you do not um, access me. Uh, 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 sorry, address me based on how I look. Not profiling. Uh, prof people. Thank you. That's the word I was looking for. Profiling. They just profile me and say uh, because you have I'm a yahoo yahoo because I have dreads. You know. So there's. I mean, congratulations to them and many more wins for us. You know, as Africans, as Nigerians. Yeah, we have brilliant minds in this country. We I do. just hope our, do. our people are seeing it. We do. <laughs> All right, AK, what did okay, you find? Okay, so my in? story is bringing us back to what, what's happening, which is that while we're all supporting and chanting NSAS, there are a group of people that are saying that they need SAS. And that's the Northern Governors insist on SAS, protesters defy threats. And that's taken from um, The Guardian. So while we are saying that, you know, SAS is causing and wrecking so much havoc, they're saying that it's been helping them, you know, stem out um, the effects of um, terrorism mm -hmm. and what they're going through. Mm. But so 
I think that they need to hear what we're talking about here. And mm. what we're trying to address is police brutality mm. and what it's doing to us. And me, I'm even thinking, here. it's not even hard. Uh, <laughs> okay. See, these kind of things, and me, I think I've gotten to that point where I don't want to be dragging words with people. People. Since okay. you say SARS is good for you, right? Have they can windows. move SARS all the way to all your states. Somebody all the says you should move them to Sambi. Yeah, no, no, let's so move the I SARS. Agree. Let's move them to your state. If you say I that they are working agree. for you, they are not harming your people. I mean, you are not experiencing. I'm very correct. I see here. They can be very, very correct in, the, in their right mm -hmm. that it's not affecting them the way it's affecting, affecting us, us, right? Because let's face facts. Lagos, Port Harcourt, I mean, the, e the, the East and the South and the, the West. Abuja. We are very, very, you know, tech savvy. We, we are advanced in terms of technology and all of that. So it is possible that they are not experiencing all of these things that they are talking about. So we can move SARS to them. It's fine. There's no need to be arguing words with people like that. If we want to move forward, we're trying to progress. And you say, okay, no, this one is good for you. No problem. We'll move all the SARS officials to you people. Let them, let them help you solve all the problems that you think you have in your, no in your state. No problem. You can take your story. <laughs> no, me. Yeah. Like some things, I'm just tired of uh, of um, you know repeating the same thing. Well, my story is quite easy. Everybody saw um, the protest that's been happening, and we've been watching, we've been monitoring. So um, I just want to reiterate um, what um, Faust the bad guy has done. That's um, uh, the popular pop daddy. <laughs> Bob Daddy. Bob Daddy, yes. So he's written officially. And what, what struck me with this particular um, write-up is, you know, Faust is a lawyer, mm -hmm. right? He, ha he comes from a family of lawyers, not mm -hmm. just normal lawyers. I mean, these are, you can't, you can't shake them in their Activist. family. Uh, yes, I'm so excited about this because he went to the street, he protested on the street, he, he, he sang several songs addressing police brutality and all he of has, that. Yeah. Now he has moved away from that to now go to the crux of the matter, which is asking for police reforms and constitutional reforms. I mean, if you, if you read this letter, it's very lengthy, but he now also did a follow-up video to say that, you know what, if you check the, if you check the, the right of, I mean, the video, what he was saying about the percentages that are of certain kinds of, um, what's it so called? So he was talking Income. about the, the fund, the fund yeah, the that's fund been set up for the that police. Yeah, the fund that is set for police was, reforms and all of up, that. It was set up sometime late last year, but it's not been operational yet. Thank you. And he said something about the, our Human Rights Commission, that the, 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 the section that is supposed to even protect us has still not been uh, activated. So if all of these things are happening and we are shouting, we are shouting, it means that constitutionally, eh, nobody can fight on our behalf. You know, no lawyer can fight on our behalf because the policies are not even on ground to, to be able support to, to support it. So that, you know what I said when I saw that video? I said they've got us looking and we're looking hard and we're looking beyond where they think that we would look. Mm. And one thing has come out here to say that Nigerian youths are not as lazy as you think that they are. We're very intelligent. And Uti mentioned it when she, she was sharing her news that in a world that is very challenging, with the kind of budget that we have for education, the kind of the way our educational system runs, to be able to provide, you know, to bring up the kind of youths that we have, then we're really the tenacity that we have it's, cannot it's be measured. It's out of this world. It's out of this world. I think we'll just sum it up there because we, have, we still have a lot you know, to talk about, especially because we're, we're dealing with um, the protests and all the... Now we hear that they've, they've uh, blocked Third Milan Bridge. I mean, the whole of the mainland is almost on standstill and all of that. So we're hoping that we'll be able to get some of the frontline um, um, protesters, especially in Abuja, to speak to us. But uh, we'll take a break. After When we return, we'll discuss the protests. Stay with us. Thank you.